Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories. A place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Keek, 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 called David. He walked along the marshy edge of the water searching for food. His baby chicks followed close by, copying his every move. You see, David is a bird called a clapper rail from the Gulf Coast of Mexico. Uh, Imagine a chicken with longer legs and a longer beak. That's kind of like what clapper rails look like. These birds spend most of their time scavenging around the ground with their long beaks. They like marshy areas where they can escape the tide and lots of plants to hide from predators. David was out in the early morning like he always was and today... He was thinking about how nice it would be to meet some other families. He and his wife, Isabel, had four little chicks. They were adorable. The days were very busy, though, taking care of their four babies. Each of them had two to look after. They were happy to share the job of keeping them safe. David bobbed his long beak down into the water, searching for some delicious food like small fish, crabs, or small seeds and plants. Clapper rails are omnivores, so that means they eat a lot of different types of foods found in shallow water. David pecked along the shore a bit longer, and as soon as he looked up, he saw some other clapper rails he'd never met. Huh, I wonder if they're new to this neighborhood, David said to his chicks. New friends! Yay! Woohoo! Can we go meet them? Please, please, please! Well, I guess now's our chance. We need to be polite. Not too talkative, but uh, not too shy. David tried to teach his chicks as they walked closer and closer to the other birds. They hadn't made uh, many new friends yet since they were born. When David was close enough to the new bird family, he introduced himself. Hi there. My name's David. Are, Are you new to the neighborhood? One of the birds responded, Nice to meet you, David. My name is Ray. This is Sarah, and this is my family. We just flew in this morning. Wow, it's been a while since we've made some uh, new friends and met some new families around here. My wife and I have have four little ones. This is Pete and June, David replied. Welcome to the neighborhood. Ray and Sarah were new parents. Both of them had their babies on their back after the long journey. You see, clapper rail mothers and fathers, they'll each take care of half of the babies. They even carry their baby chicks on their back while they swim. Oh, that's pretty cool. It helps keep them safe from, you know, a shark or something else under the water that might want to eat those fluffy little babies. After a little bit of chatting, David decided to make a bold invitation and invite over the whole new family over to their nest that evening. Hi, um, so it's been really great meeting you. Would you care to join my family this evening for dinner? Our, our nest isn't too far from here. It's just down the shore. I could meet you just at the swamp edge uh, a quarter past seven to help you find your way. <gasps> that would be wonderful, the new friends responded. David, Little Pete, and June set off back home to get ready for their new guests. Clapper rails are diurnal, which means they're active during the day. But they are most active in the early morning and the evening. I guess they don't like to come out when the sun is bright and hot in the sky. But David was so nervous and and excited. Phew, I can't believe it. Wait till we tell mom. He told the kids, Isabel, Isabel, he shouted, you're not going to believe it. There's finally some new birds in the neighborhood. We met them this morning and I invited them to dinner tonight. 
Wow, it's been quite a while since we've had some new friends here. That's definitely exciting, said Isabel. The entire family spent the afternoon cleaning up, preparing their nests just right, and deciding what food to have. David tried to decide which way to comb his feathers, and thankfully his feathers were so small it didn't really matter how he tried to style them. <laughs> the evening finally came, and David was about to head out to meet their new friends. He had just tucked in their babies in the nest for a little nap. But suddenly, he heard Isabel and the other two chicks, May and Matthew, keek, keek. It sounded like they were in danger. Whoa, this special loud bird call is very good at sending an alarm to others. It alerts others about the presence of, you know what, a predator. David looked all around him and told Pete and June to stay in the nest. As he looked up, he saw a very large red-tailed hawk circling right above them. <gasps> David let out a call trying to signal his family. Keek, keek. Isabel called back, and the, but the hawk continued to circle. He walked back and forth in the tall grass and finally found Isabel with her two chicks. They were low to the ground, hiding as still as a rock. Quick, get down, she whispered to David, and David obeyed. The hawk circled high and low, but Isabel and David stayed camouflaged in the tall grass. They didn't make a move or a sound. After what felt like hours, it finally flew away. Now it was almost dark. It was much later than a quarter to seven. Oh dear, oh, what happened to their guests? Did the guests sadly leave thinking they were forgotten about? Or did they get in trouble with that hawk? Oh no, what is going to happen to David and his family and their new friends? I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but we'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is, it's time for Critter Protector Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Hazel from Australia, Leaf and Xander from Oregon, Charlie from Toronto, Ben from Maryland, Namu from Seattle, Mav from Phoenix, Cruz from California, Opal from Texas, and Hazel from Michigan. I'm so glad that you're all Critter Protectors. We could not protect all the critters without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.